Hey everybody, Norm from Tested.com here at CES 2016. Lots of gear, lots of VR, lots of cameras, also lots of quadcopters, drones, UAS systems. And this one in particular is really interesting. It's from Unique. It's called the Typhoon H. Ryan, tell us a little about this. Not a quad, it's a, it's a hex. Yeah, Norm, it's a little bit different than what we're used to. We have uh, our first product, which was the Typhoon. This is our now second product, the Typhoon H hexacopter. Um, a few new things about it is, you know, we went with a six rotor to allow, you know, if something did happen, something fell, you can still fly on five, five rotors. Um, on top of that, we've added a few different things. We have a 360 degree rotating camera, and it's unlimited, so it can continue rotating and rotating and rotating. Um, some of the other features we added is uh, some automated features. So we now have what is called Orbit, which allows it to orbit around your transmitter, which is dynamic. So anytime you move your transmitter, it's going to orbit around that. Uh, point of interest is an orbit around a point you choose. Uh, journey mode, which is essentially like a droney. Um, so it'll automatically go out, depending on your camera angle, to 300 feet, come back, and uh, finish its course. Um, and we also inter introduced waypoints with this model. Uh, it's, we call it curved cable cam, and what it is is you fly it to the point, you hit enter, saves that point, you can do as many points as you want. It registers height, yaw rotation, camera rotation, camera tilt, and uh, you can just simply hit play, and it's going to go through all, every, every point. A lot of people buying quads, hexacopters, or building their own for cinematography these days. Video is a huge part of it. Let's talk about the camera system. You said it's a 360 degree camera system. It goes all the way around That's and can keep on going. It looks like a three axis stabilized gimbal on there. And tell us about the camera. It says 4K. So the camera is a 4K camera. It's able to shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second. Um, you could even do 1080p at 120 frames per second for that slow motion feel. What's the field of view and what kind of sensor are you using? So right now it's a 115 degree field of view. Um, the sensor is a Sony sensor, um, common to with GoPro and, and the rest of them. And then I see with the, the landing uh, struts here, are those movable? Right, so it does have retractable landing gear. Uh, you'll notice that all the arms are kind of tilted up. The landing gear also goes all the way up towards the booms and that gives you a nice clear view of everything for the camera. It actually doesn't look that heavy. How heavy is the Typhoon H? Uh, it's not that heavy. Um, I'm not quite sure what the weight is right now, but it's uh, it, very capable. Um, it's got plenty of power. Um, for It's much quicker than the, the original Typhoon, and uh, the flight time is pretty good at 22 minutes. 22 minutes. Um, you guys are selling LiPo batteries. There Are they 4S batteries in here? So th Yes, we did upgrade the battery packs. It's now a 4S 5400 milliamp. Um, so we're going to be, you know, the same flight time, a lot more performance. Let's talk about the transmitter for a second. I'm holding it here. It has a built-in screen. You're not going to attach it to a phone or a tablet or anything. It's all here. But what are some of the functionality? So there is a few different options for the, the Typhoon H. We do have a, what is called the ST16, which is, looks like our ST24, if you guys are familiar with it. Um, but this one in particular, it has the landing gear switch, the familiar start-stop button, um, your, your three modes, smart, angle, and home, and you have an additional knob that controls your gimbal and an additional switch to control the landing gear going up and down. It's all single person use, are you guys adding any potential for two people use? So what is great about our product, it usually has everything that you need to get going right out of the box. Um, this particular model will have a two pilot mode, so you could old, use your old ST10s, you could you know, purchase an ST12, um, and you could be able to have somebody camera the, pilot the camera and pilot the aircraft. And then what about a video output? Are you allowing connectivity to HMDs? Right, so with the ST12, we do not have an HDMI out or anything like that, but the ST16, which is planned to be released with the uh, Typhoon H, will have that HDMI output. Awesome, and then avail about availability. How much will this be and when it will come out? Um, we're looking in a few months for the, the actual release date, and we're looking at a price point about $17.99. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing with us the Typhoon H. Not a problem. It's great to meet you. Great to meet you.